Everybody, get excited. A Thunderbolts film is going to come. Uh, in Marvel Studios is line up apparently deadline reports on it so there is has to be some truth to it all right so apparently Marvel Th Thunderbolt movie types Jake Shiria as director now Jake Shiria is you're probably going who is that and I did that when I first read the article Marvel normally pick small indie directors who then burst into Hollywood fame um because of their films which is the exact opposite of what they're doing for fantastic four so i haven't watched any of um jake's films i mean it, it doesn't really matter on the director yet because we we haven't got anything to go by uh not much is known about the plot of the film deadline roads other than it revolves around a group of supervillains or at least characters who have played bad guys at one point in the mcu who go on missions for the government another element that remains vague is which characters will be a part of this team since the film it's film it technically still is in development so the sources say marvel has been in touch with certain individuals who are already part of the mcu to make sure to keep an opening in their schedules for next summer when it shoots so they should be filming summer 2023 which would give it maybe a year window a two-year window so i'd say either christmas 2024 or maybe christmas 2025 maybe september or october it's said that some characters potentially could be starring or making some appearance include Baron Zemo, Yelena, Ghost, Taskmaster, The Abomination, US Agent, and The Winter Soldier? If you don't know, the Thunderbolts are like the evil Avengers. Um, that is the Dark Avengers. But they're, they're supervillains who kind of make an Avengers group. <laughs> um, as you can see, there you got Red Hulk there. And I do want to address Red Hulk very quickly. As you all know, sadly, uh, William Hurt passed away uh, this year, not too long ago. And everyone was getting very excited to see Red Hulk. So they either have two options. One, they could make the decision to recast, which I think they, they, they will do. Um, because Red Hulk is just too popular of a character. But maybe he doesn't appear in this film and maybe Abomination gets put in his place um, instead of Red Hulk, which... I think would be better f just for this film at least but i hope the red hulk does make an appearance uh down the line ghost yeah expected that um they're probably gonna go janet didn't fix her powers she just temporarily got rid of them or something but yeah i expected her in this taskmaster <laughs> they didn't kill taskmaster at the end so i mean she she was definitely gonna come back but i'm just not excited to see taskmaster back doesn't even look like a skull and and uh, there was no depth one of the worst marvel villains ever elena i mean mm, on, on, the, mm, on the, the thunderbolts possibly i feel like elena is more free and wouldn't work for the government like works for herself um and they could be a team struggle dynamic because elena normally works by herself but I'm excited to see Yelena again. US Agent, and of course, of course he was going to be appearing in this. Of course, Thunderbolts, no-brainer. The first, when you say MCU Thunderbolts, first person that comes to my mind, US Agent. So, very excited to see him. Will the Soldier is one I'm sceptical about. Just because, like, Bucky is good now. Um, but I don't know if he'll be in it, I don't know. But that's basically all we know about the Thunderbolts mcu film hopefully it's announced at disney disney uh, d23 or disney investors day but yeah it's a film um they decided uh, it was worthy of a film and it could be considered marvel's suicide squad so maybe they make it rated r who knows but i'd like to thank you guys very much for watching this channel and for watching me ramble on about the thunderbolts um but uh, yes i will See you all in the next video. Goodbye.